for this video, I got bored and I decided I would compare my favorite GMRS radio, the Wuxin Ocean KG935G to my formerly favorite radio, the Boofwang UV5R. And due to popular demand, this video will feature much less of this and much more of this. Here I have the world famous Boofwang UV5R on the right and the ever popular Wuxin Ocean KG935G on the left. And please forgive the horrendous bloody scabs on my hand. Since I got fired from my hand modeling job, I have not been taking as much care of my hands as I used to. And trust me, she had it coming. You can purchase a Boofwang UV5R for as low as $20, and the cost for the Wuxin Ocean KG935G is $150. Affiliate link below. That means that if you lose or break a UV5R, you just buy a new one without blinking, because blinking is only for the weak. But if you lose or break a KG935G, it's going to sting a little more. The biggest difference between these two radios is that the UV5R is a ham radio, and it is not approved for transmitting on GMRS, FRS, MERS, or anything other than ham frequencies. And to transmit on those ham frequencies, according to the FCCs, you must have a ham radio operator's license. I will now say that one more time because there still seems to be much confuculation about this. So if you are currently experiencing a sensation of being confuckled, please listen closely. According to the FCC rules, a Boofwang UV5R is not approved for transmitting on GMRS, FRS, MERS, or any other frequency other than approved ham frequencies. No matter what power level, no matter what kind of antenna you connect to the radio, no matter anything. Leaving comments asking the question in different ways will not change that answer. Now allow me to make one quick disclaimer. I do not have a ham radio operator's license, and some people have decreed that therefore, I am not permitted to speak about ham radios on YouTube. And just to be clear, those people are idiots. As you can see, the Boofwang UV5R is slightly smaller and much lighter than the KG935G. The Boofwang UV5R weighs in at 7.4 ounces with the stock battery, and the KG935G weighs in at 11.4 ounces with its stock battery. Both of these radios are SOC or system on a chip type radios, also known as direct conversion or homodyne. Homodyne radios, neither are the higher quality superheterodyne type. Both radios have small LED flashlights. Both radios have removable and upgradable antennas. Both radios can monitor two channels or two frequencies at the same time. An unlocked UV5R can transmit and receive from about 135 megahertz up to about 480 megahertz. That may vary slightly depending on when you purchased yours, so please do not leave a comment declaring that I'm wrong because your UV5R can transmit at 481 megahertz because nobody cares. The KG935G, being a GMRS radio, can transmit only on the GMRS channels. However, it can receive from 136 megahertz to 174 megahertz and from 400 to 470 megahertz. 
The UV5R can store 128 channels, and the KG935G can store 999 channels. The Bufwang UV5R is supposed to output 5 watts, but in the GMRS range, it actually outputs just under 4, and the KG935G is supposed to output 5.5 watts, and in the GMRS range, it outputs exactly 5.5 watts, as advertised. Both radios use the same connector for programming or connecting an external microphone, and that is a K1 type connector that looks like this. You can program both radios using the free Chirp software on Windows or Mac or Linux. Wuxin Ocean also has their own software for the KG935G, but it runs only on Windows. The screen on the Bufwang UV5R is very good in bright sunlight. It has black lettering and the background can be changed for different colors for standby, transmitting, and receiving, but you can only select blue, orange, or purple. And the display is limited to six characters. The KG935G has a much larger color screen that is customizable for both colors and brightness. You cannot adjust the brightness on the Bufwang UV5R. The KG935G can display more characters and the screen shows much more information. However, the screen is very difficult to view in bright sunlight, unlike the Bufwang UV5R. To save custom channel names, such as you currently see on both of these radios, you must use the Chirp software for the UV5R. You cannot change or add channel names directly on the keypad. For the KG935G, you can do it in Chirp, you can do it in the Wuxin programming software, or you can do it directly on the keypad with no computer at all. And as many of you sharp-eyed viewers may have already noticed, the UV5R supports only uppercase letters, whilst the KG935G supports both versions of the alphabets. The Bufwang UV5R comes with either a 1800 milliamp hour or a 2000 milliamp hour battery, depending on which one you buy and where you buy it from, but you can separately purchase a larger 3800 milliamp hour battery. The KG935G comes with a 2600 milliamp hour battery and Wuxin Ocean also sells an optional 3200 milliamp hour battery. The Bufwang UV5R has no IP rating and the KG935G has an IP66 rating, meaning that it is virtually waterproof. Now, countless online experts have decreed that the UV5R is total junk and they fall apart or don't last. However, not long ago, I made a video of me doing disgusting things to my UV5R and it held up surprisingly well, but it did pretty much die. I also made a video committing the same and even worse violence against a 935G, and it survived. So based on my domestic abuse of both of these radios, the KG935G is a tougher radio. However, the Bufwang UV5R can hang pretty tough for a $20 radio. Because the Bufwang UV5R is a ham radio, you must know the frequencies that you want to listen to or transmit on and program them in to use the radio. As previously mentioned, the KG935G is a GMRS radio, so it comes pre-programmed with all of the GMRS channels, making it much easier to operate right out of the box. Both radios support CTC and DTC tones, both can operate in wideband or narrowband mode, and both radios are repeater capable. However, the KG935G is limited to transmitting only on GMRS repeaters, and the newer locked UV5Rs can only transmit on ham repeaters. However, an unlocked UV5R can also transmit on GMRS repeaters. Programming a repeater on a UV5R is not a simple task. I have made entire videos just to explain how to program a repeater on a UV5R, and many people still cannot do it. Programming a repeater on the KG935G is much more simple and can be done in just a few clicks of the keypad. 
both radios can scan through pre-programmed channels. On the Bufhuang UV5R, your only option is to scan through all of the channels or all of the frequencies. The Wuxin Ocean KG935G allows you to set up channel groups to scan through, giving you a better ability to control which channels you scan through. Both radios talks pretty much the same FARs. Neither has a distinct advantage in FARs. Both radios have the very important Roger Beep, and both radios do other things that most people do not care about. If something goes wrong with your Wuxin, Ocean, KG935G, or if you just have questions about it, you can pick up the telephone and call and speak with someone in South Carolina, and they will be happy to help you. If you need support or have a warranty issue for a Bufhuang UV5R, good luck with that. So which radio is better, the Bufhuang UV5R or the Wuxin Ocean KG935G? My friend, only you can decide what radio is better for you based on your wants, your needs, and your requirements in a radio. So please, stop asking me.